In this tutorial, we'll be creating the scrolling text animation using After Effects. Let's start off by selecting our ellipse tool here, and I'll hold down Ctrl Shift Alt and drag my shape here to create an even shape. Now I'll select my shape and click on Ctrl Home to center it to my composition. We can scale it up just a bit here. And we'll go down into the continents here and just disable our fill layer. And we're left only with a stroke. Now I'll create a new null object. We'll make both of these layers 3D. And let's create a camera and a text layer. And I want to make sure everything is centered. So I'll select all of my layers, Control Alt Home and Control Home to center everything to my composition and both in 3D space. Now, if we switch to the left view here, we can rotate our text layer and the shape layer 90 degrees on the Y axis. And this way it's just easier to see the text and position it. So I'm gonna scale it down just a bit. And we wanna start positioning our text here. So the anchor point is basically on the shape layer. So we can go ahead and place them randomly like so. All right, so this is looking pretty weird right now, but what we're gonna do is make sure our text layers here are rotated back. So I'll set the Y axis to be zero again, and we'll switch back to the front view here. Now I'm gonna select all of my text layers and I'm gonna parent them to my null object. So now once I spin the null object, it is basically rotating around the shape we created. Now, the only issue here is we want the text to be facing forward at all times. So what we can do here is select all of our text layers again, right click, transform, and click on auto orient. Here, you're gonna select orient towards camera and hit okay. And now every time we're gonna spin the null object, the text is still gonna be facing the camera, which makes it easier to read. Now, let me actually set two keyframes here. So I'll just give it one full evolution and over the course of two seconds, we're gonna set it to zero. I'll select my keyframes, hit F9, go into my graph and just adjust it like so. All right, so this is the technical part. Now, obviously it's a little hard to read and kind of annoying to look at. So here's some effects we can add to enhance this look. I will select everything and pre-compose it and move all of the attributes. Let's name this main. Now I'll duplicate this pre-comp and I'll call this one depth. And I'll let me hide the main layer here. And what I wanna do is add a 3D channel extract to this layer. So this basically works like a Z depth if you're familiar with 3D, but in other words, it just creates a depth map based on what is brighter is closer to your camera and what is further is getting darker. Okay, so something like this should work fine. Now we're gonna add an exposure effect and with this one, we can basically enhance the brightness of what's in front here. And let me turn back the offset just a bit and enable anti-aliasing here to avoid these ragged edges. Now let's disable the depth layer and enable back our main layer. And I'll create a new solid and we'll call this color. And I'll make it a luma mat to my depth layer. So now if I go into my main layer here, and set the opacity to something like 20. I can also add a fast blur here and set it to 20 as well. We basically get this depth map, which makes the text closer to the camera, brighter and in focus. Now, obviously you just go back in here and change out your text layers, and then you will see them update here with this setup of effects. Now we can go ahead and add a background and add a four color gradient here and I'm just gonna create something similar to what you've seen in the beginning and then lower the opacity. And as a final touch to make the main text a bit more in focus, I'm gonna create a simple adjustment layer with a mask around the edge here. And then I'll add a fast blur, set it to five and invert my mask here. So change it to subtract, just so we have more focus on the center of this animation. All right, hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.